Do you ever have a thought that you should be more present in your life? Present with the people that you're with and present with that thing that you're doing. And maybe you've tried some mindfulness techniques and some meditations and yoga. And still, you find yourself very distracted. You find that you cannot really be listening and uh, just can't be present. So today, let's talk about presence, what it really is and how to do it. <laughs> it's just, um, it's something so obvious. It becomes very obvious once you know, or once you notice what is actually happening. And so imagine you are in a room and there is two movies playing in that room. There is one movie playing on the right, one movie playing on the, on the left, like a big screen. And the one is playing the movie of the past and the one is playing the movie of the future. And sometimes you're watching one of the movie or the other one, but you're still in the room. So can you say that you're not present? Well, the thing is that you're always present. You're always present in the room. And sometimes you're noticing what's in the room and sometimes you're noticing what's on the screen. And sometimes you're reacting to what's in the room and sometimes to you're reacting to what's on the screen. Like if there is a, if there's an emotional movie playing, you'll be, you'll be experiencing these emotions, but you'll be still in the room, you're still completely present. And this is what it's called being with what is and being with what isn't. And the isn't, those are those movies that we watch in our minds completely unnoticed. And those are expectations and worldviews, all these things that we believe how things should be. And they are sometimes overriding our reality so hard that we don't even notice and so we are we thinking we cannot be present because we already have a movie playing around what, what would it look like if we were really present we'd be listening and we'd be paying attention and and it just creates extra layer of judgment and then we end up beating ourselves up because we cannot be according to this fantasy that we have this fantasy that is being sold by all these meditation people and courses and you know how it should look like but the truth is that your life is perfect exactly as it is and you're always present and there is those two things that is what is and what isn't depending what we paying attention what we believing and so what does it look like to really be present with someone or with something to really be present with someone is simply being with them while there is nothing required there is simply nothing required there's nothing required from, from them, nothing required from you. Because in our normal interactions, we're not really being with them. We are actually just watching this movie without noticing. And the movie is about how they should be. So in a way, we're always trying to change them somehow. You know, we can maybe have some emotional voice going on, or we actually try to get their like, their approval, their love, their appreciation. We just, we are... It takes a lot of effort to adjust this behavior uh, to this movie that is playing. So to be present with someone is simply there's nothing required. It's just being with them. It doesn't matter if they are being emotional or if something's happening that we didn't like. It's just, just being so curious, like, wow, like, this is what is it like to be with them without, there's nothing required. There's nothing required from you either. It's just so beautiful. And another way, another word for being with someone is love when there is nothing required and when I say nothing required it doesn't mean that we're gonna be tolerating if something abusive happens when nothing is required means that we don't try to change it we, we become very natural and very spontaneous uh, completely aligned with our true nature and without trying to control things so actually when someone is abusing us um, and we're trying to control the situation by shouting back or doing something this is control, this is, you know, that we believe that something is required, we're actually trying to change them instead of simply being with what is and being with what you know is really best for you, not settling for anything that you know wouldn't support you, just simply include very naturally and spontaneously whatever is arising, uh, but just being with what is, being exactly the way you are with exactly what is.